Two years ago, the Field Museum acquired a small fossil, and this morning the media got a preview of it. The Field Museum calling it one of the most important fossils ever discovered. The Field Museum is becoming one of the few places on Earth to see one of these fossils. It's called Archaeopteryx, with feathers, hollow bones, clawed wings, 50 tiny teeth, and a long bony tail. It's one of the earliest known dinosaurs that also qualifies as a bird. This morning, the Field Museum unveiling the fossil to the media, saying that while small, it packs a huge punch, since it's simultaneously a dinosaur and the earliest bird known to science, helping provide proof of Darwin's theory of evolution. This is without a doubt one of the best specimens of this important species that has ever been found and it is such an honor to have it here at the Field Museum and to be able to study this incredible specimen with my lab. The fossil was unearthed by quarry workers in 1990 and has been in the hands of private collectors ever since. A coalition of supporters helped the Field Museum procure it. When it arrived two years ago, most of the skeleton was obscured by a top layer of rock. The Field Museum says this is the most important fossil acquisition since Sue the T-Rex, drawing out the governor, Chicago's mayor, and the Cook County Board President. I am immensely proud of the Chicago Archaeopteryx, which helps solidify this city and state as a global center for paleontology. The fossil will go on public display tomorrow, but it will be removed in June temporarily as the Field Museum prepares for its permanent display in the fall. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.